Look at this. This could mean only one thing. My first spin in two months, or over two months. Maybe my last spin for 2016. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be in the 50s. Tomorrow it's going to be in the 30s. Arctic breeze, Arctic freeze, maybe snow flurries. I just called a mumbles man. I said, hey, mumbles man, are you ready to go for a spin? He said, yeah, yeah. So I'm digging my gear up now. I got to find my suit. That's all I need. Stand by. We're going somewhere. They turn it around. around. We're in a traffic snafu here on our main road to the cave. Never in 20 years have I seen a snafu here. Anyway, I got the Mumbles man. He said he's been hunting some at Nala, but not finding much, some change. He said that our buddy Dick found a, a 9 millimeter pistol, I mean a Glock automatic pistol down there not long ago. He found, uh, when did you find an iPhone 7? iPhone 7, yeah. When did you find it? Uh, about 38th Street. Hmm. He uh, found an iPhone, Denny found an iPhone 7 the other day. That's the first one of those I've known found. <clears throat> we just left uh, one spot on the bay. We didn't go detect him, but we pulled up and the fast man and uh, the guru were there, just getting ready to go. So we decided we'd leave them and go hunt someplace else by the cave, if we ever get there. All we can see is the tractor trailer's catty corner in the street on a 45 degree. Or it was five minutes ago, and now they've kind of pulled it around a little bit. I guess we know more when we get closer. Well, conditions look pretty good. It's rougher than I want it to be. A little slew looking places here. And the Mumbles man, he's already running the war. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, the cave. I ain't been in a long time, the old cave. I don't even know what the steps look like, but we'll see them in a few minutes. Stand by. We've got a 1247. Trying to bleed in right here. I don't know if it's anything or not. It's not the best signal I ever had. But it's getting better. Have it, whatever it is. God, I can't see nothing. Let's take it up here and dump it out. I don't see no twelve forty seven. Nor do I hear it. I didn't think it was a very good signal. Stand by a minute. That could be a 22. We got it, whatever it is. I think it's a piece of aluminum. I think. There it is. Nice tequila. I'm solid. We dug a full tab. And here, I don't see anything look like a 1205. Matter of fact, I don't see anything hardly. Whatever it is, it's right there. Fell out, or either I missed it. So we got it that time. I'm 
I can't believe it's small enough to fall through these little teeny holes. Let's go up there and take a look. Well, so far we ain't doing too good. Stand by. You see, we're working in a little slough right here. I imagine when the tide gets off, negative one, that'll all be dried out. The slough just comes in through here, inside this little bar. Pull tabs is and a piece of iron aluminum or something. You see them. I got another piece. Mumbles man, he's moved down by the cave. And from here, I don't see any steps. Stand by. It's a nice though. I mean the water's nice and clear. It's always clear in the wintertime. The bacteria is gone. Right here in the surf. I don't know if it's gonna be another pull tab or what. Says we have retrieved it. Initially, I don't see anything. Let's dump it back out and see if we can find it. Nope, not there. Try to hold once again. Aha, 22. I see that little sucker down there. Look, short. Uh -huh. Trying to get away, were you? Oh. Cookie coins, we call them. Like, you know, I got. You say I you got, got a silver dime and a silver quarter in the same hole? Damn. I don't know what they are. Yeah, I will. Because they, they're, they're cookies, but yeah. I scraped the side of them, they're silver. That's good. Maybe we'll find some taquitos there. Nickel. Yeah, this, it's, it started. Right here at the edge of those steps. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm just going back All and right. forth. Let's see where we dig up here. There's some coins in here. Can you see it? The toe ring. Come on there, Taquito. Get out. Huh. We didn't get it on the first scoop. We're going back for number two. Come out of there, Tiquito. Now that we got it that time. I don't see anything that looks exciting in there. I don't see a damn thing that looks exciting. Hey, hey! How you doing? I got a 22 in a tow ring. There's a bunch of crap, but he's got a couple silver coins. Hey, how you doing? I got something here, but I can't find it. I got a silver quarter, that's it. Well, you've been down below a little bit? Yeah. Out the east. Yeah. That damn big rich wasn't doing hot, eh? Me too. Yeah? I had this thing exactly a month yesterday. <laughs> Bobby's there with us. Better keep this off camp. <laughs> Has a gold ring in my scoop. That's what the 1208 was. Danny. I couldn't find it. I had to dump it out to find it. Danny. 
Look at that, look at that taquito. I'll have to take it. Watch out, we'll be squeezing it. Got very good pockets. That uh, Miles phone? Yes, they're good. Them, that's good phone. They're, they're supposed to be really good on the CTX. Yeah, I'm happy with them. It's I need to get another pair. Yeah. Because I stole these off Max. Did your brother get his yet? Yeah, yeah, he likes them. They're really good and loud and they're comfortable. It's a solid 1201. I ain't never been too keen on 1201. I think it's still in the hole. But I'm going to check this first scoop. You always got to look for the marble. Hello. It's rougher, getting a little rough. So this is the 0350 now. 0350 at four inches. Hello, baby. Baby. I think we got whatever 0350 is. It's a big class ring. I am not kidding either. Nice class ring. I got, I don't know if it's gold or not, but it's a ring. Stand by, we'll clean it up in a little while. Away from the ring is a 1210, solid 1210. Sounds like we got it. It might be another ring. It's a weird looking thing, I can't tell. Might have been a ring. See it back there in the back? It's hung up on something. I think it's just wire now. Yeah, it's just copper wire twisted up. See it? Nothing good since uh, last time I started. It's trying to breeze up more, it looks like. I see Bobby's going to the east to do the western. Yeah. One step showing. I might have a quarter here, right? The big iron in here sounds good, though. Yeah, I know it does. Right there, that's it. I think. Oh, right here. No, that big piece of aluminum. I think it's aluminum. Yeah, that's it. I think I was in the cell. I had holes in it. Oh. It's a 1246. Huh. Well, you know. No. It's a lot of tricky stuff in here.
Well, it appears the surf god was in a good mood today. He hadn't seen me for a long time. He said, I'm going to give you tickets today. I said, okay, buddy. Works for me. <laughs> the stamp Bristol, 14K. I haven't weighed it. It's not very heavy. And this baby is stamped 14K. United States Marines, it says on it. But it can't be, it's plated. You can look and see the, it's uh, peeling off everywhere. I got some better pictures of it, you know, steel pictures. Look at that. She's in rough condition. I think she's old too, boy. I looked up the ring. The, the Bristol is a vintage. There's several of them on eBay. And Estacy or whatever you call it, other outfit. So it's been around a while. <laughs> well, I was excited. Then I got the Hope Diamond and a toe ring because I got that first. Oops, somebody's calling me. Stand by. Sure, Danny got the other part of my cell phone, or at least the gut part that was in there. And I got a what's it here and a, a big what's it here. I think this could be a lock. I mean, it don't have to be a lock, but it looks like it's got a post and a post because I don't know what that thing in the middle is. It just appears to be a lock. We'll crack it open tomorrow. Only 122. I was expecting a lot of them in a 1951 wheat penny. Then he got a, I know he had, he had a silver quarter, maybe a dime. He'll send me the pictures in a little bit, I guess. Our buddy Beaver, he's up in the mountains. Well, I shouldn't say the mountains. He's somewhere in a big farming area. And he's starting to get permission to hunt some old house that Thomas Jefferson built for Ben Franklin's son. I think I got that right. And the windows in the house came from Monticello. That so sounds like it ought to be a good spot. We'll know more later. Good luck, everybody. I'll see you. I might do some knives tomorrow because it's going to be bad. I got to finish up these pocket knives that a guy sent me from Alaska. I mean, from California. I did the big all the big knives and sent them back to him. I got to do these. Send them back to him. I might do them tomorrow. Okay, that's it. Later. This fell out of my uh, pouch. I forgot to put it in the video. It had an arm up on it when I found it. It says lighter leash, whatever the hell that is. Beaver had a good day today. He got a report from him a few minutes ago. He found a large busted, uh, stand by, let me see if I can find it. A drape busted large scent. I don't know if he says the date or not. Get it back up there. 1796 to 1807.